that this love that was being offered to me was more than I ever had or felt in the 16 years that I was alive. I can't remember ever being kissed by my mother. I can't ever remember sitting on my father's lap or being kissed by my father. I've lived with brothers who beat upon me. When I came to the altar, something tremendous happened. There was this very huge man that was preaching. He was talking about the love of God. <laughs> I felt like this man was just talking right through my soul. The church was, I don't know, probably 300 persons in the church. But I don't know why I stepped in. This man was just talking to me. Why did it seem like he was looking at me? Why does it seem like every single word was for me? And I remember there I was, my eyes were filled with water. And he made an invitation at the end of his sermon and he says, It was just an invitation, come. All you who are weary and want rest. All who, um, who, who needs this love. I don't remember the exact words, but I didn't know anybody in the church. Nobody whispered to me, nobody ushered me anywhere. Somebody picked me up. And I remember that I was just walking to the altar. I wanted this love. Why I wanted this love? I was just in the church for probably less than an hour. And I felt that this love that was being offered to me was more than I ever had or felt in the 16 years that I was alive. I, I grew up with both parents, mother and father in a house. They were not the perfect parents. They were married, but they were separated. But they were under the same household. Um, I can't remember ever being kissed by my mother. I can't ever remember sitting on my father's lap or being kissed by my father. I've lived with brothers who beat upon me to this point and I sat in this church for less than one hour and I felt this love calling me to something more. It picked me up and I went to the altar. When I came to the altar, something tremendous happened. 
I didn't know how to pray. But he said, say these words after me. I don't even know if there was other persons at the altar. It, it was just, you know, you are, you're on a stage and there's a spotlight that's on you. I felt like this was just about me and nobody else. So there could have been other persons at the altar. And I remember I said a simple prayer. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I and I am sorry for all my sins. I realize and accept the love that you displayed on Calvary for me. And I now invite you into my heart. It was a simple prayer, but after I said the prayer, I felt like something from the top of my head flowed to right down my dress to my feet and it felt like liquid love. Tears started flowing like a fountain. I couldn't understand where it came from. It was like a waterfall. I was just crying, 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 crying uncontrollable. But I believe with every cry or every shedding of the tear, things were being peeled off me. The abandonment, the rejection, the lack, the feeling of lack of love, um, the abuse, um, everything was just being peeled, peeled, layer by layer by layer. At the end of it all, I felt so light. I felt like all my burdens, yes, at 16 I had burdens. I had burdens because at 16, I remembered I was in a relationship that was, um, I, I didn't even know how I got into that relationship. <laughs> and I felt like my life was just so messed up and that there was no return. At 16, I felt like I was nothing. I felt like... I could just die because what is this life that I'm living it was just monotonous it was just empty it wasn't colorful there was just no ray of hope and here in this short moment I've received love and I've received hope there is no so it's like I got new eyes <laughs> I was seeing seeing I don't the place around me just seemed much more brighter and I remember that soft shoulder came, hand came on my shoulder and she carried me and she sat me down and she says, hey, um, I am so-and-so. Um, I can be someone that you can talk to. A few weeks after, a few months after, because it's as if they couldn't keep up with me because I was just no, so much more hungry for God. I was going to church Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday morning, Wednesday night, Friday night. I was, I just wanted to know so much more. I wanted to know so much more about this God that loves me so much that I remembered I found a Bible. I remember I was reading Genesis and I remembered I was lying on my mother's bed and I remember I nearly flew off the bed because the scriptures came alive to me and I was like, what, what? It was like a bombshell. I'm like, what? What just happened? And I tried to get back in it again to get to get the same experience. And it's like I kept getting stuck. I kept getting stuck. But I took up the Bible and I began to read it. I, but it was just so easy to read, and I just read and read and read. I do know. I do not know how long it took me to read. But believe you me, I read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. All of it. All of it all of it and that began my journey to say hey whatever happens here in this bible i want it to happen in my life 